uh, where we live near Rockwood, uh, we used to go walking and cross-country skiing. It's one of the prettiest parts of Ontario, south of Algonquin Park. Uh, and there's an, a part of the, the area has been dammed and there's a lake and limestone cliffs and caves dropping down into the lake. And one of the caves had all this frosty stuff around it. So I, I thought, okay, that would be a good idea. For, and I had this picture of a lynx asleep. Now, once again, hardly ever, it's amazing how little ideas will come to, hardly ever does, has anyone painted an animal asleep in wildlife art. And I thought, well, that's good. They definitely sleep, you know, a good chunk of the time. And it's kind of like a wise old mandarin or something, all posed there, the white rim lighting around him and the icicles, all hoarfrost coming from the cave, where possibly he, uh, he kind of curls up in the cave in the daytime, but he's come out and he's sort of dozing. It's called dozing lynx. And the whole palette is extremely restricted. I really enjoy doing this, holding back on uh, use of, of color and all that. You can imagine how horrible this would be if I had bright blues and greens and all that kind of thing. It's very, very, very restrained. And I think restraint is, I like even restraint in music. It's kind of like composing a whole composition just in one, um, you know, within one, uh, from middle C to the next C above, instead of going way up here and way down there. It's just very, very held back and restrained.